All right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning. It's a little bit slightly muggy, a little warm. Looking at a really nice 56 Chevy 210 Post. Very nice, very light Pro Street car. 502 big block underneath the hood. Really nice body off, restoration, rotisserie. A lot of neat hardware and a lot of expensive stuff's been done to this car. You buy this car, you're definitely not going to be disappointed, that's for sure. Anyway, we're going to take around, walk around, take a peek for you, going to give you an idea. Everybody always drives by in the morning here when we're doing this, so you're going to get drive-bys. Body gaps are all extremely nice on this car. It is whistle straight. You can see the reflections in the side. You wouldn't know by looking at it what's hiding underneath the hood. It's kind of a real sleeper. In order to do yellow right, you gotta you gotta do it right. And this one's done very, very nice. You see a lot of red and black cars and that kind of thing, but you don't see many yellow. And this one will definitely get your attention. It's a nice tone. Tinted windshield. All the polish and stainless is very nice, but the gaps here are exceptionally nice. All the way over the door. 56s, tri fives in themselves are hard to get the gaps right. We'll show you the bare brakes, but we'll show you that on the undercarriage video too. Underneath the hood, it's just as nicely detailed, the undercarriage, so on and so forth. Take it for a little drive here, get you inside. You'd think it's a freeway here. Again, gaps both sides are very nice. Typically you'll see those chipped on the nose because the hood doesn't fit just right or something. But I can't, I have not been able to find a flaw in this car yet when it comes to paint issues. Step back, let's take a look here. It's definitely one it's worth your time to go throughout this whole video and go to spudsgarage.com when you're done because we'll have plenty of still photos of this very nice car on the freeway <laughs> we're not on the freeway but panel fit is excellent again give you a peek here Door jam to door jam. This is done very, very nice. Little subtle pinstripe uh, cartoon work in the door jams. Nice little bow ties. Very nice ultra leather cloth uh, type combination so you don't stick your tail to the seat. I was going to say something else, but uh, I'll be nice. Again, door jam to door jam, latches. We'll come around to the driver's side here in just a minute. It does have air conditioning, power steering, tilt wheel. Seat belts right there, retractable, we'll show you that. For the front passengers, it also has back seat belts, but these retract so they're not in your way. Doors shut extremely nice. Show you down the side of the car here. Typically these cars like to pucker right about in here when you put the trim back on them. Somebody knew what they were doing, they fit it right. Tint on the back windows and the rear windows. Huge meats on it, 17's in the front, 18's in the rear. Again, hang on to the end of the video here. 
probably four or five inch dish on those. A mean look. Just a few moments, we'll have a trunk video for you too. Trunk gaps are hard to get right on tri fives. These are nice, they fit nice. Undercarriage photos will be here pretty soon, but we'll give you a little peek. Yes, sir. That's where the fuel is, in case you didn't know. Lightly driven, not abused. Two tens are nice post cars because they uh, give you some strength. We're going to get you in here and let you take a look inside. Step back here. Yep, the door stays open Move by itself. And take a closer look here. Again, nice little cartoon graphics in the door jam. A little wave there, surfer. Very nice ultra leather cloth. We just talked about that when we were over on the passenger side. I may be a little bit quieter than normal today. I don't know why. Just uh, cruising along. It's a beautiful car. Kind of getting in, taking it all in here. A little muggy too. The upholstery is very nicely stitched. It's a nice combination of ultra leather or, and cloth. Huge kick panel speakers right there over on the left and right and then there's six by nines in the back window. Bin right there. Of course we're going to have more details at spudsgarage.com for you. You want to hang on to the end of the video definitely go to the undercarriage and engine compartment the engine compartment is incredible on this car overall the whole thing is incredible it's uh, has vintage air has power steering huge under under dash uh, auto gauge gauge pack little autos custom auto sound uh, radio glove box is still there AC vents are under dash We're going to start this girl up, let you hear it. <laughs> Very nice. You can tell it's got the 502 hiding underneath the hood. Figure out how to turn it on here. He just spent 500 bucks on the air conditioning to make sure it's up to snuff for you so the AC is cold. Oil pressure is sitting at 60 at idle. The car is sitting at 180 temperature wise. I'll let you hear it run then we'll take it for a test drive. Pipes come out right here. All right, we're thinking you right, need to get it. Take in. a look underneath the hood. Some plenty of horsepower hiding underneath here. GM Performance 502 Generation 4. Absolutely, very well detailed under the hood here. We'll kind of go around and give you a peek, go over some of the details. Tonawanda engine, 
polished intake manifold, serpentine, polished serpentine belt drive system. There's the power steering reservoir right there. Cover over the steering box itself. They're all braided lines, not the cheesy fake ones. These are uh, AN fittings. Allen hardware, two tone hinges. GM distributor. We'll get to the radiator here in just a minute. Again, hardware on the fenders. Has a 750 CFM Holly with a uh, vacuum secondaries. I believe the generation 4 block was the first one that had the uh, access for a mechanical fuel pump, which this car does, which is perfect with carburation. Again, braided AN lines. Big tube, long tube headers. Big diameter header, long tube. k and air filter that's letting in a lot of air for that. Polished air conditioning compressor. Coolant reservoir right there. The radiator is a uh, performance rod and custom kit. Uh, I believe it comes with core support and all. Polished aluminum, dual cooling fans, huge radiator. No cooling problems with this big block. Polished AC condenser. The welds on that. Very nice kit that goes in these. Transmission's a turbo 400. It is pro street style, so it's got big wheels in the back, nicely hidden. We'll get into the trunk and undercarriage here shortly. And uh, we'll also cover the brakes, but we'll cover it right here. It has a uh, bare, huge bare four wheel disc brakes on it. A lot of money is spent on this car. Hard to find a nice big block 56 like this one. Anyway, we're going to carry on. We're going to go on to the rest of the car here. You're definitely at uh, on Spuds Garage YouTube. You will want to go to spudsgarage.com uh, to look at more photos, and you'll probably see it on Spuds Garage eBay. But very nice car. Okay, I'm going to take it for a quick little test drive. Has a column shift on it, the e brakes right there. I do have the air on. Reverse where it's supposed to be. Neutral. Drive. Take you down the road. Warren, I'm stealing your car. Take it for a little, be our own little freeway here for a second. Woo! Power steering's nice. Has power steering on it. Car has a nice tight feel to it. We'll flip a U here one-handed. It's hard to find nice big block 56 Chevys. Especially one with a 502 stuffed in it. Thinking you get the idea, hang on to the end of the video and definitely go to spudsgarage.com. Thanks for right, visiting. Let's take a look at the trunk here. Just like the rest of the car, it's very, very nicely detailed. Lightly tubbed. It has some huge rubber on the back. We'll cover that on the undercarriage video next. But very professionally done. The level of time and money in this car is just uh, incredible. Take a look at the floor pan here. Zeus fasteners, there's a compartment underneath here. Or access panel, I believe. Same thing over here. 
We're thinking you get the idea. Hang on for uh, undercarriage video. Thanks for All right, he's going to turn it around here so I can shoot the other side of the car. I thought we'd give it a, so you can see the light. See it in the light, he's going to turn it around down here. Very nice car. We will take it for a little test drive. Just kind of wanted to give you a feel of the turnaround in the sunlight. Beautiful Havasu day. Does have power steering. The undercarriage here. Very, very nicely done body off restoration. Trans cooler right there. You already know what's under the hood. I've talked about the rest over there. Huge bare four wheel disc brakes on it. Power steering. Sorry, we're going to have a truck go by. Never fails. Very nice Foos five spoke wheels. Looking for the tire size here. On the front's a 235 45 ZR17. They're Neato uh, tires, NTSSS. Same level of detail all the way throughout the car. Long tube headers are up high so they won't be rubbing. Rotisserie restoration. Body off. Lightly tubbed in the back. Uh, very nicely reinforced Ford 9 inch rear end. Ladder bar style bars. Sorry, I'm uh, leaning over. That's hard to do sometimes. Can't see the tire size on this side. Yes, I can. Tire size on the rear are 30540 R18s, so 18s and 17s. There's the bare disc brakes right there, slotted, drilled. Look at the size of them. Uh, The dish on the back of here. Coil overs on the back. Aluminized exhaust. Polished stainless fuel cell. About 18 gallon, I believe. In the trunk video, you'll see a panel uh, with Zeus fasteners. There's the uh, the compartment that's there for it so there's a little extra hidden storage in the trunk beefy meats on the back of this car wow that's all I can tell you about the undercarriage on this car somebody spent a lot of dough on this car Ladder bars again. Very nice, very nice. Give you a good feel of the bare brakes again in the front here. All right, we think you're at the end of the video here. Definitely, uh, wanna, when you're done, you want to go to spudsgarage.com. You're currently on Spuds Garage YouTube. And, of course, you might see it on Spuds Garage eBay. Thanks for visiting.